Watch this! Let's go, Dirk Thar. You rally with the fr We're gonna go harness the elements, but actually going to be playing as a warrior. Gonna see if we can make Bran work in duels. Well met. Catastrophe. Thank you for the four months. Appreciate that. Should be relatively easy in the first game to get Bran online, so let's keep him. I think it's likely Dragon Druid, which if you're going to face Dragon Druid, game one is probably the best time for it. So that's the good news. Okay. Oh, it's a windy out here. Huh. This is not what I was expecting here. But we do want to kill it. So their quest line without the quest line? I guess just quest without the quest. How much do I even care about that? I just set up Balnors and hold. We're just looking to win with a whole lot of Astalors. Which we don't necessarily have to use for, um, this does two, four. We don't necessarily have to use Astalor on the first iteration of this. Cards do I have left? Field block, Asvidan, Zola. I don't think they've played a spell yet. Let's just go here to pave the way a little bit better for Brand next turn. Okay, so we can't Bran here. Guess we could have. That's my least important minion. Let's just do this. Don't really care about the uh, minions on board if we're just going to Reno next turn. We don't have a Ray yet. That's also my least important minion. Now that said, the Shutterwalk is going to be a bit annoying. But we're a turn away from that. So it might just be like a boom boss angle here to try and destroy the Shutterwalk. No matter the danger, I'll Because the Shutterwalk almost always comes down this coming turn, right? It's either Shutterwalk or it's Reno. I think it's probably Shutterwalk. So we lose the Astalors, but we're going to lose them anyway, so. My jaws that bite, my claws that catch. 
this at least blows up the rest of their game plan. And we just try and win with the hero power and uh, these minions that we have on board. Okay, they are going to have a couple of more cards, it seems. Surely that's not just randomly a Reno, right? Oh my god, that's so unbelievably unlucky. I cannot fathom how unlucky that is. Oh my god. <laughs> that is just the only... Si that is the singular card left of all of the cards that they had that could even give them a remote possibility here. That is unreal. Monkey. God, that's so tilting. Uh, that's an unusable hero power here. That is absolutely, utterly unreal. It's just going to be a matter of who gets luckier off of the hero power now. Should be GG. I take five. It depends on what they get. If they get lethal off of this, I lose. They need four damage to face with shaman nature spells. Or they need healing with shaman nature spells, so it's probable they. Nope, they lose. Okay, well. At least they didn't get lucky there, I guess. Uh, we can't do Book of Wonders, so it's just a recycling angle here. We w really wanted the legendary option, but this will be fine. Probably don't want a triple duplicate here. This gives me one duplicate. This gives me zero. They're not great cards. I think we still just take the showdown bucket here. Okay, with this hero power, we probably have to keep the Reno. We want Astalor later, and we want to try and find Bran. To be fair, they did eat your most irrelevant minions. You had good luck, too. I mean, I could have... No. <laughs> as long as it didn't eat both Boom Boss and Astalor, which is very unlikely, I still have a pretty easy path to victory there. Which, like, also Astalor ended up getting eaten. It was just I planned around it. Inspiring Presence is the, uh, the thing that I wanted to get, but that's all right. Does also give us confirmation that they're just neutral. Okay, 
could just use the Asvidan on those. I also do have, like, hand size issues. I might need to slam my own... Nah. I think I slam, but without the card draw. Because I've got two things that are currently drawing me cards here. And I don't want to risk burning the Bran, but I do want to draw him. Very nice. Now I just don't want to burn the Astalor. Good to use, better to Wait. Win. Since when is this a card? Okay, let's uh, make some hand space. I think I've drawn enough cards. This opens up the possibility to just go Bran execute if they find a different way through this Powderman. Which it looks like they might. It's a... Uh... Wait, I can just play this. Or I can just play this. It's a bit of a gift. Could even just go boom boss next turn if they don't develop a whole lot here. It doesn't look like they're going to, so might as well. This might delay the Reno a little bit, but... We also just have the, uh, the signature card as well. Oh right, recycling. to the boomer men. One, two. As long as we don't hit the powder men. No, not the powder men. The, uh... Even though it's left in deck. Oh, it's just bombs. Oh, there's a Yogg in their deck. No! Oh, 
How was I supposed to know? You can't blame me for that one. I think I'm already struggling with hand space issues. I don't know if I want the Murloc. This has some synergy with Powderman. I think I want the Death Charger, though. We'll take a, that option later. This is a pretty good Brawl Whirlwind Dynomatic, though. Uh, no duplicates, importantly, and all pretty reasonably good well cards. Met. Roth Liver really excited by the content my sub gets me, such as this top tier emote. <laughs> Happy to hear that, Nova. Thank you for the uh, three months. Enjoy the livers. Yeah, we just take this one. For the first wolf class. <laughs> Finally, a worthy opponent. Yeah, hopefully, this is Dragon Druid so that we don't feel bad about uh, ruining their day. Especially with this draw. I desperately want this to be Dragon Druid. <laughs> okay. Now that said, this does create some issues with hand size. Hey, welcome, Skellifier. Brawl good. Valor Valor Valorous display also good. It's just good for next turn. Like, we can bash into a matron if they have one. Or a shoot man. Stay alert, my children. Hopefully they don't have both. Okay. Not having both is better than having both. So that's cool. That's a lot of mana. Let's play this for the sake of our hand. And next turn might be a brawl. So we just go Whirlwind Blade Storm into that, right? Use this to look for Bran. Oh, hey! <laughs> Found him. Nine damage isn't that much when I have uh, this much health total. How have they played three Breath of Dreams already? It's game three. I think we just go with the Valorous display here. This is 10. Right. Can hold the weapon for a bit. I bestow these gifts upon the world. The virtue of the wise. We must stop this corruption. I have a couple of different options. What I could do is, I think I take the line where I go here, execute that, slam the Aonar, and then play the Dynomatic. That allows me to save the Reno for a wider board. Light the fuses! 
I could play this here, but I don't really want... Eh, maybe I do. Because I have the Reno to get more armor back, as well as the Bash. So I'm not really concerned about the Spiked Wheel right now. Yeah. It's uh, an order lull, no matter which way you look at it, but I'm looking to play the Reno here anyway. Value off of this here. I am low on cards. Now we just need to try and draw into the boom boss or the Astalor. Of a brawl, if I need it. They must have a book if they're going this route, right? Like that's a lot of cards to be drawing in there. Yeah. So this always happens, right? Got 28 from this plus 331. And there's 16, 24, 28, 40 on board. it a lot more manageable next turn. I don't want to give them potential lethal if uh, something goes wrong with the Astolors. Okay. Obviously not the best outcome, but certainly not the worst either. It's also a world where we just hit the Asvidan into their, into their book. It actually does, what, 12 damage? So that'll be 6, 18, uh, 26. So this is guaranteed, right? Altogether now, seems pretty good. I don't think I want the Bronze Signet because, again, we've had some hand size issues, but the earlier Battle Cry effects would be quite good. It's like our deck is built around Battle Cry, so play the Battle Cry card. This is safe. It's a bit risky. This is one duplicate. I think I just try and keep Reno on and Bran online as long as possible so that I can uh, just make sure that the brand is online when I draw him. Oh, hey! Are you a new professor? For the first wolf club! Let's so, uh, full mold this. Look for early card draw like the Needlecock and uh, even Shield Block is great. 
Boom boss could be beneficial in this, even if I don't necessarily double him up. But I would prefer to. Because I do not want to get comboed here. And uh, disrupting the combo would be very nice. It's not a good start for me. Fortunately, it is still relatively early, so it's like not at all the worst time to make or to find this matchup. Slam can help me draw for better cards than I currently have, which wouldn't be hard to find. I do think I want to leave that on the board for the uh, Death Rattle Interruption. Uh, the combo is Augmented Porcupine. They put a Leaper on it and then do a whole bunch of Death Rattle triggering. I'm going to just stack some armor for now. Taking three isn't that big of a deal. It's unfortunate that all of these are mechs. That's really bad. Wow. I'm getting two of those is kind of nutty. That means they very likely have the uh, Leaper and the Porcupine. So they're just missing like one or two pieces for their combo at most. Really want to draw off of that but I guess I don't get two here. They also could have reduced cost to mechs. I think one of them, they only have one left, so I think one of them was the uh, explosive sheep. So that's the good news? Question mark? No, the first one hit the second timeline accelerator, so that's the good news, allegedly. we we'll just play this and maybe execute that. No, just play this. I think we're gonna die here pretty soon. Possibly now. I think I might just have to play a boom boss and try and snipe. Like, the game's going to end too soon if I try and set up a brand into boom boss, I think. There's a good chance they're just going in next turn with this setup. GG. Really does not feel like I had a chance in this matchup at all. A uh, combination of queuing a horrendously bad matchup and the opponent hitting the absolute stone cold nuts. So, staff. Staff is good removal. Second Bran. Nah, we just uh, skip when we can. Finally, a 
real fight for the Frost Wolf Clan. <laughs> Keep the cards that are our win condition. We want to get this down before we get too many uh, plagues shuffled into our deck. God, imagine inspiring presence with this hand, though. We would just, like, immediately win the video game. Okay, this does look like Plague Death Knight, so I kind of have to get lucky with the uh, the plagues in order to get the brand online. One dose solves a problem. Hurry up! Good old-fashioned rope, Death Knight. Uh, I'll play this just for a bit of board tension. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. The fallen will serve. Okay. I mean, it's not plague. One dose solves any problem. Probably just slam that and hero power. Don't really worry too much about the card draw. It's good pick up for next turn. But I don't want them to generate more stuff off of that. There could be a frost plague in there still. With some like excavate stuff. But there does not appear to be. Five corpses currently. Could just use the Reno to deny some of the corpses, I guess. Better have Ma and Pa in the deck with those runes? True. As usual, this opponent is certainly having a thong. It does look like we're in the clear for Bran, so that's one major check passed. And if Reno goes offline, he goes offline, we can just deviate to the boom boss and Astal our game plan, so. Not really the end of the world either way. Is one plague in my deck. Again, we can just use the hero power to tank the plagues, as well as even like the needlecock. There's one thing we're good at, it's drawing cards with this deck. So we'll see how it goes. Make a decision on turn seven. I wouldn't even mind hitting the plague here. Or there. I think where we land on this is if Reno online, play Reno. If not, just play maybe Boomboss. I don't know. Just has to not be another unholy. Cool. Incredible. Hopefully this will make their turns a little easier on them. They seem to be... Struggling from too many decisions, so we can help with that. That does mean no patchwork, which is a good thing. I'm probably just playing the Astalor next turn so that I can ensure that it comes down uh, before it theoretically gets patchworked, because they do have the one blood rune. Okay. I'm not going to have anything to... <laughs> Answer in terms of a shield slam here. Wow. They hit all three. This seems pretty good, doesn't it? Magic betrays those who abuse it. Probably 
Probably should have considered the order a little bit better. Our gift of frost shields us. Next turn, we just play Boom Boss, and then we chain Astolores to ideally close things out. Just play the uh, Valorous display into the Boom Boss now. Kill that first so that I summon the minion and kill it with the hero power, even. What a great time to draw that! What an absolute high roll! Uh, might as well swing this first. What's that? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even notice that was on the board. Like, theoretically, we could even brawl into an Astalor to all but guarantee lethal. Probably guarantees lethal, even. Just what we needed is something to increase the time of the opponent's turn here. No, just let me out of this. Oh my god, I can't play cards because of the stupid brawl. This is supposed to make it faster, not slower. Mage armor. Pretty good. Double blade storm, not so nice. <laughs> I mean, this is actually pretty good. I think we just take the uh, showdown again that keeps our Reno effects online. And it's the only one that does here. Are you trying to ruin my espionage? No. Let's full mold this. These aren't really the cards we want. These could be. Probably try and save the coin for the Reno. This dies, but it does get some value. The floor is lava. Okay, we're gonna need our removal. We might need to coin the brawl. What is it you ask? Uh, nothing. Well met for Frost Wolf Club. Thank you, Justice Crater. Appreciate the 51 months. That was a very long time. Thank you so much. Are much more fun to hmm. Why so angry? Today, my son asked, can I have a bookmark? I burst into tears. 11 years old and he still doesn't know my name is Brian. That's so sad, so sad. That is some early, early onset uh, dementia. Thank you, Cathandrian, for the bits. Like I said, it might just have to be a coin brawl, and then we have the staff of scales to clean up, hopefully. Wow. 
Or we could just use the Staff of Scales here to ensure that dies, because that's not a minion I want to leave on the board here. To kill six, I would leave these two one ones on the board and net me some armor. Seems like the play for me to me. We can choose between the Brawl and the Aftershocks next turn. Basically, it depends on whether or not Aftershocks clears enough, I think is... How we'll decide this. Now, that said, there's a good chance... ...that they just took the, um... The spell that we just played, right? So what if we just brawl this? Is it like... They would take the staff every time here, right? And the Aftershocks deals with the staff better than Brawl does. So we do this. There's a singular bad outcome here. No, there's two bad outcomes. That was not the bad outcome. I think they're just trying to move the snakes to the left here. Uh-oh. really know what other card they would have taken off of the, uh... Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be such a satisfying Reno. Now that said, we don't have a great way to draw our spells anymore. So it's going to be harder to get to the brand as a result. The Dynomatic also not great. But we could also just do something like Astalor, Zola the Astalor. That's off of this. This is uh, this is their only minion, which is a good sign. I'm almost out of time. Very nice draw. Even if not necessary at this very moment. Always trade last. Because I am very smart. Hey, welcome, Ogre. Interesting. Aftershocks is not online right now. Okay, well, that needs to die. Everything needs to die here. 
Frostbolt! Gift of Frost kills us! I think the Whirlwind is relatively valuable both for the Aftershocks as well as just like dealing with their minions after the floor is lava. So I could have cleaned this up a little bit more, but I don't, I don't think we're in a situation where that's a necessity. We didn't even need Bran that game. This is safe. This one less so. Same thing here. I think we just take the uh, crummy Lich King cards to keep the Reno online. I won't go easy on you. I just like imitators. For the Frost Wolf Clan. Just always keep the Needlecock. And just play this on one to get a card further through our deck. I don't really care about the mana thirst. Like, I have two taunt minions. Three. Uh, okay. On the bright side, no village the fallen, right? Just go here for a copy of any spells that they play, or just a taunt minion if we need it. It's a lot of armor. Did they just dump a- I, like, I've been in the situation. It's possible they just dumped a bunch of weapons into their deck and then didn't hit the pillage still. Which is not a great feeling, I gotta tell you. Use this for some card draw. And close enough. I've got enough removal stuff that I don't need to be in a hurry to get the Aftershocks online here. Plus, I don't know how many minions they're going to be playing, so... Tempo a uh, booty board. There you go. Like, I'm fine with this healing six. even five. Don't really like the idea of spell damage on the board here. Saxomophone. Saxomophone. Ooh. <laughs> They're fishing. Hey, everything is still at three. One, 
Hey, there's our brand. Cool. Who needs pillage when you have the power of jazz? Uh, this opponent. Ah! Maybe not. Look at that value, chat. Look. I am afraid of that missed caller. I'm not afraid to admit it. So many weapons in their deck. They got really unlucky not to get Pillage the Fallen. That's... I've been in the exact same situation as this opponent, and I know how horrible it feels. Our gift of frost shields us. I was going to make that a lot worse for you. <laughs> so the seeds. I don't want another... I do want another mage armor, but I don't want a duplicate in my deck. It's tempting just because the hero power does draw it, but it's still probably not worth. Double frothing is a no-go. Uh, this is the second whirlwind. But... I mean, that's better than the alternatives where I get multiple copies of absolute trash tier cards for this deck, so. One Whirlwind is better than three copies of everything else. Oh, hey! Are you a new professor? For the Frost Wolf Clan! As we have seen, this is not a great matchup, but maybe this opponent won't hit the Stone Cold Nuts again. Copium. Cannibalism, mommy magic, sure. Let's try and get through our deck with the last stand. Boom boss could be a viable strategy if we get the brand. Let's just play this. I'm gonna hero power next turn. Then I hero power trade the heavy plate. Most likely. This looks very, very familiar. Do have a lot of armor gain at least, but there's no world where we can out armor this deck. I think I just uh, weapon into that. That's already very bad news for me. Just need to rip the band-aid off. This stage they could probably even get through like half of the Linecracker Druid's armor. Yeah. Like <laughs> I was getting to the point where my uh, porcupine was triple digits at around this time frame, I think. That could mess with their draws a little bit, at least. A lot of it. Like, I don't even really mind that being on the board, I don't think. Look at me. Could have used the coin there, but uh, we're still just a whirlwind away from getting our Reno online, so 
like hero powering to get the whirlwind is of high value and import. This could be a liability for them, couldn't it? Okay, they're throwing. Okay, Reno stuff is online. Arcane bolt. That was bad order. I'm still just like shocked by their play. Good burn. Uh, no, they didn't hit. They hit the uh, buzzard off of breeder. So I don't know. It's two out of three to hit the powderman or the uh, asvidan. I haven't played the asvidan yet, have I? I would also just not mind top decking a uh, a Reno at some point. Plays a serpent bloom, which is bad for me. Okay. I just need extra draws so I can find the Reno. If I get to the Reno, there's a good chance for me this game. Reno, Brawl, Valorous Display. Maybe they got other triggers for the pew pew. I mean, they do, but that's no reason to give up your absolute best one that, like, auto wins in this matchup because I can never out armor it. That was always happening. What is my follow up here? This? I don't know. I haven't been able to draw good follow up response. Oh, I had the. Ugh. It's no longer the uh, poisonous card in there. I goofed. I mean, it's a 50 50 now. So obviously they win it here. No, it's not Time a 50-50. Like like <laughs> Thank you, Cathandrian. Uh, I have no outs here other than Reno, who I just missed. Magic betrays those who abuse it. Uh, passes are all together now in recycling. I didn't hit the uh, Inspiring Presence, unfortunately. Okay. Um, I mean, our draws just were absolutely horrendous. 
Yeah, skips are great. Oh, this is gonna be gross. I actually don't know what I'm meant to do here. Like, even keeping this is probably not worthwhile because we just lose our Reno to the bombs anyway. But at least they don't have the best passos. So we need to go on a tempo game plan. Armor, armor, use armor. Or an armor gain game plan and just tank the bombs. Can start that next turn. I can't imagine this is a good matchup. Just because keeping the brand online is going to be a disaster. Hero power for bombs? I mean, unironically, that's like the game plan right now. It's a little frustrating how much of the meta is just completely off-board damage and the stuff that is on board is Dragon Druid. Yeah, I mean, Dragon Druid pushing board-based strategies out of the metagame is why we have so much off-board damage. It's like, what else are you meant to play? Unfortunately, I would love to queue into Dragon Druid and not this deck. Let's just avoid the continued shift damage from that. Play that and pretend like we can generate some tempo. They do clear it. You like the new core set info? This place is scary. I mean, the, the core set probably affects me less than nearly any other Hearthstone player. <laughs> right? For a wide variety of reasons. So I don't. Like I saw it, and it's, you know, whatever. But it's hard to get too excited about anything right now after the. Uh, the duels announcement is kind of where I stand. Just make some hand space for future turns. I do hereby crown thee Rothel the Great, first of the name, King of Tempo. Long may ye reign. I'm doing my best, but the opponent is somehow trying to dethrone me as Bomb Warrior. Good God. <laughs> uh, thank you, Cathandrian. Do we ever just tempo the boom boss here? And like hope to get lucky. Everyone's always like who runs Steam Cleaner to counter bomb warrior, but no one's thinking about the real counter, Wimrest Purifier. <laughs> oh I should have been thinking ahead. Thank you, Kali, for the great idea. How many bombs we have six bombs? Five bombs. Oh hi, Reno. You had any success with the Porcupine the Leapfrog Hunter deck against Dragon Druid? Yes. It's. Well, I don't know against specifically Dragon Druid because I'm. Because it's a deck that, like, should win. But, uh. I don't know how much I queued into it. You can check the video. That's how I would be able to answer this question. Well met. Mellow. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. That's... Potentially a way that I could win. Although, this could just be a sanitize that they forged, and then I would be sad. And it wouldn't matter. 
The trick in this matchup is to not draw the bombs and just reduce the enemy's health to zero. You can do it, Mr. Streamer. Well, I can't play my deck with the bombs in the deck. So I'm going to need a better plan than that. I mean, Tempo Reno could actually be a thing too, right? Brian is the more important card than Reno. Okay, that's bellowing. That means this is probably more likely to be a sanitize here. So I don't know if I want to go in. Well, yeah, maybe I do want to go in on this. That's a big caboose, isn't it? I want to do this in case I draw multiple bombs off the hero power, which will disable this, so. It was both one face. Oh, that's so lucky. Have enough armor for this right now. So we'll go here. Rothel, you silly fool, why do you put bombs in your deck dealer think sounds like a misplay, so I thought I'd tell you Apoc. I appreciate that, Dark. Well, thank you for the suggestion, as well as the 26 months. I wish you had been here sooner before I put the bombs in my deck, though. I think we can all agree that it's probably your fault now. Well met. Hi there. How are you all? Why did this have extra stats? That's not where it fell asleep, right? This doesn't seem right. Uh, thank you, King is Fire. Appreciate that. Don't tell anyone, chat. It's not cheating if I don't do it on purpose. Don't tell anyone. Okay, one bomb. Unlucky. a goof. She engine doing some heavy lifting for Raffle? Look, just because you don't have a game shark doesn't mean you should blame me for your lack of elite gamer skills. Still have six bombs in there. Have you tried up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, select, select, start? I hear that one is good, too. I'll keep that in mind. Job's done. Thank you, uh, Cathandrian. Okay, there's the Bran. 
And we only have five bombs in our deck, so it's perfect. This is kind of expected. Because they've been holding that weapon for so long. That's why I've been holding the Valorous display in the brawls. Said, I don't know Brothers, Hodir summons us. what I'm supposed to do here. Could draw a bunch of bombs, and no, that's going to kill me. I did that wrong. Oh no, is this gonna come back now? I'm never getting this Reno online, right? I just need the hero power. It's 15. Plenty damage. I don't know what to do, man. Die, I guess. Well, looking for a stand up there, folks. It's against me. That was a bad hero power. Anyway, I just like I need to get through this weapon still, and clearing this first board does not get me through the weapon. And we go here and here. Pray we don't draw three bombs. Pray we don't draw two bombs. Pray we don't draw one bombs. GG. Ugh. What a horrendously miserable matchup. Yeah. Like, there's no way out with the cards that I have left. It's just such an unbelievable bad, unbelievably bad matchup. Whether that happens this turn or two turns later, I lose that game in that spot. Oh well, we got six. Oh, God. I, I don't know if I can ever play that deck again with just how bad it is in the Bomb Warrior and how unfun that is.